problem connecting to the internet in rural areas, and it's a bigger pro problem during this pandemic. Especially when it comes to virtual learning. Our Claire Cride shows us how the city of Bald Knob is working to provide a better connection for the community. Claire. Yeah, that's right. Online learning relies on strong internet, but outside the city limits of Bald Knob, the connection just drops. I spoke to a family about their struggles with the service and how the city is trying to fix it. I was unaware of just how bad it was. Before COVID-19, Megan Glaze thought her internet connection wasn't a problem. But when she suddenly found herself teaching from home, it's been difficult. Now add two more computers trying to make that connection. When you're in the middle of video, it'll stop and just Glaze says when she is trying to teach, her kids are trying to learn, but her internet can't keep up. And if they can't get them to pull up, then it's difficult to do the coursework that goes with it. Right now, they have to adjust to get all their lessons done. We found ourselves staggering who gets on when. It's a problem that's affecting many in this rural community. They don't cover a lot of the hills and up and down in the valleys. Mayor Barth Grayson is working with Skycap, applying for a $2 million Arkansas rural Connect Broadband Grant to extend that service to those unincorporated areas. Uninterrupted internet is always the best. Grayson says they hope to put receivers on existing towers and add about 10 to 12 more. To fill in the gaps where we're already seeing some inefficiencies. Hoping to bring a strong connection to those like Grace who rely on it. Because that's not an option anymore to not be able to be virtual. Grayson says they will need folks to lease or sell land to build the towers. If you are interested, you can call the Bald Knob City Hall. Back to you. All right, Claire.